painting.
What's up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How you guys doing? Sorry for the uh, delay there. I had to help with the kids and get some something to snack on. Kind of a weird morning for us. I'm gonna try not to chew too much into the mic. But I'm gonna be eating a pear, so. We'll see how that works out. Also, I'm going to turn on the treadmill and start walking here. So let's go ahead and jump into a game. Hey, Rob, how's it going? Hey, Andrew, Scotty, Gary, Felix, good morning. Yeah, I got a new treadmill. It's awesome. I'm going to put it on super slow speed, though. Kids are doing well. All right, so we've started walking. Let's jump into a game. And I'm going to finish my pair over here. Let's get control of the center. We might be facing a hippo. We might be facing a hippo. Let's just keep developing. It's looking like a hippo. Let's castle. So it might be a hippo, or it might just be this weird King's Indian where Black is feeing Kettle the Bishop over here. But either way, it's kind of similar. So Black's position is pretty solid. Probably not going to be able to blow them off the board. So I'm just going to keep playing, you know, good developing moves. Okay, so yeah, now we can at least go for this battery, get rid of that bishop, and then maybe try to attack the king over here. Could be a plan. Also, just rooks to the center and look for opportunities to push these pawns at a good moment. Yeah, so let's go ahead, actually, and trade off the bishop. I like to do this. Uh -huh. Yeah, Joey, it is a bishop pair. That's funny. Okay, so we got rid of that. That's good. I mean, I'm thinking about this, but I don't know really what my follow-up necessarily would be. So I think I'm just going to get the rooks ready to go for now. I'll go ahead and trade just to keep it a little bit more open. Bring this rook over. Let's see. That's defended. That's okay. All right, I'm going to bring my queen over to the king side here. And I'm actually thinking about jumping the knight like this because the pin on the pawn here. And then we can take advantage of the dark squares. Now, of course, black can chase my queen away if they want or something else. So we'll see what happens. But okay, they're going to take that. I'm going to take, I think, with the rook. And the reason I'm taking with the rook is, number one, I gain a tempo on the queen. But number two, I might be able to use this rook over here. And so, yeah, let's actually go ahead. And now we have the threat. That's a fork. And we also can bring the rook over. So everything is working out nicely. Okay, black doesn't see it. They missed the idea here. 
So we're going to go for the fork. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a tricky move to see if you're not used to this tactic, right? Because the pawn is pinned. We'll throw in the check. He's going to go here. It's not quite checkmate. But it's okay. We still got a queen. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's come over here. And I'm still attacking. I just need to get rid of the knight. Okay. So g4, g5. Looks like it makes a lot of sense. Basically, I'm just trying to remove the defender of this pawn, right? And so... G4, G5. Ah, interesting move here. If I go there, he takes. I take this. Yeah, so I'm going to be able to get two pieces for my rook. Actually, never mind. I'm going to get checkmate, but I was thinking just of this initially. But now this, this is obviously better. Checkmate is obviously better. But even if I only got the two pieces, that's still a good trade. Okay. We'll just play d4 to mix it up a little bit. Okay, we'll go back into the, the Karo Khan that I like to play. Ooh, a6. Okay, interesting move there. So, we're just going to develop. We're not going to worry about it. Bishop g4. Okay. I think I'll attack that. Well, let's see. Takes, takes. Yeah, I'll, I'll attack it. Try to trade off that bishop. Doesn't want to. Okay. So do I want to be very aggressive is the question. Maybe jump my knight into the center. I'm thinking about that, actually. I think I will be aggressive this time. And I'm, I'm going to have to sacrifice a pawn here. Actually, I don't have to sacrifice a pawn, but I might sacrifice a pawn. If I play here, let's just say takes, takes, takes. Do I have a good follow-up? Bishop c4. There's going to be e6. So maybe I don't really want to give up that pawn for free. So maybe I'll just trade it. I don't actually lose a pawn, and I can still go here. I'm going to play c3 just to defend this pawn because I want to use my queen and I don't want to lose it. And it also gives me the option to come over here and really pile up on these light squares now that I've gotten rid of that light squared bishop. Ooh, and black makes a move that actually weakens those light squares even more. But I do like to see that. Let's go queen b3. The question is, can I get away with sacking the, the bishop? We get two pawns. If the queen blocks, we could come over here. Maybe come in. Yeah, I mean, it looks like we're going to have lots of options. Let's go ahead and do it. And then we'll react. I'm at least getting two pawns for my piece. So it's not like, even if I don't have a checkmate, it's not the end of the world here. It's actually a pretty good thing. And also because of this square... Oh, well, that just makes my life easy. If they would have played a queen, it would have been more challenging. But this is just checkmate. So, <clears throat> let's imagine they would have played this. I think I was going to think about going over here. And notice this is possible because of that h6 move, right? If the pawn was back here, I couldn't do that. So, you can see how these little pawn moves make huge weaknesses in the position. A queen g6... Queen can't block, so the king has to go here, and that allows me to jump in on f7. 
and I'm going to get the rook. And so, yeah, definitely a good sacrifice in that case. Let's see if there was anything Stockfish would have played instead. Nope. You have, yeah, you have to play queen e7, otherwise it's just checkmate, right? So, yeah, you have to play queen e7, and then after here, only move. And again, only move. There's really nothing for, for black to do. We'll play the Scandinavian again. Maybe I'll show you guys the queen queen takes line. And we'll swing the queen over here to a5. And we're going to play knight of six. And this is important. Whenever you see the, the bishop line up on your queen, I usually like to play c6 because I want the queen to be able to come back here. Okay? Yep, and here, here we're going to see it. I'm just going to retreat my queen. Had to get away from the bishop. Now, the general rule is that you recapture towards the center. But in this case, I wanted to capture the other way because it lets out my bishop right away. Keeps my pawns over here so I can castle. And that's why I kind of made an exception to the rule in this case. So let's go bishop d6. Let's go ahead and castle. Put the rook on an open file. And I can't go there. I can go here or here, or I could do something like this. Doesn't actually look so terrible because the bishop actually looks like it would be pretty annoying along this diagonal. But I am going to go ahead and do that. Just didn't really feel like it had much to do here. Whereas this way I'm going to be attacking the king side. We do have a check, but it doesn't really do too much. Do I care about this square? Not a ton. I think I'm going to just keep developing. So let's go ahead and also defend my rook here. Okay, so we got rid of the bishop, and now I think what I want to do is unleash this guy. Let's play c5, and now look at this. We have both bishops aiming at the king. Just have to figure out how to get the rooks involved somehow, and maybe we can create a nice attack here. Rook to e3. That's a mistake, so we're going to take this. Even though we give up the bishop, we've now got the king open. Which is great. Let's go check. I'm trying to get my queen over there. Start attacking stuff. I don't know if I want to sacrifice my bishop right now. But I'm going to have to do it. But he didn't take it. He's going to have to take it now. He still didn't take it. Okay. He needed to trade the rooks.
Probably need to do some pre-moving here to not lose on time. But it's a relatively easy position to do that in. I think we're okay. Should be a checkmate here pretty soon. There we go. I've walked point one miles. I'm going to see if I can do the next speed up. It's still pretty slow, but this is a little bit more like a normal walk. The other one was like epically slow. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can get to. Hey, Scotty. Queen b6 to attack the b2 pawn. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, uh, right here. Yeah, so the the thing about the B2 pawn that you want to remember is, is a lot of times this pawn is actually what's called a poisoned pawn, where if you take it, you might actually get into trouble. It might It's more trouble than it's worth sometimes. So for example, let's say I would have went here, and I don't know what white was going to do, but let's just say they develop a piece or something. If I take it, you have to be careful because of rook B1, Sometimes even bishop c3 could happen, right? And you lose a bunch of time. So you end up spending, you know, so many moves with your queen hunting down that one pawn. But then you get into trouble. Now, Stockfish says it's fine. You can get away with it in this case. But it's it's a very case-by-case -case basis type of a thing. And sometimes you just get into really big trouble. So in a blitz game, usually I'm, I'm going to err on the side of not even going for those pawns. Unless I see a very clear follow-up. But in this case, all I see is like white's going to play bishop c3 and have pieces attacking me and I got to move my queen and then the rook's coming over and I have to be careful about that and um, I just don't really like to do that. So hopefully that may answers your question. I mean, for example, like if the knight was still there, it's a much nicer target maybe because then maybe I'm going to attack the rook. But in this case, it, it really was just a pawn and I would wanted to focus on other things. So uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. That's a good question, though. Yeah, you're welcome. That's actually a good move. That's actually a good move. H6, not so much, but B5 is a good move. So let me ask you guys a question. What squares does this move weaken? Right here. I'm going to play 95, and I'm looking to attack these light squares. I mean, I was kind of wanting to do that anyway. But now that the pawn has moved, it's even more so. And here we go. Now it's a question of which way do I take first. Which way do I take first? I'm going to go with the rook. Hmm. Do I want to go with the rook? Yeah, we'll try the rook. They both look pretty good. 
Now it's a question of do I want to go with the knight or the bishop? Bishop here, take this. Looks pretty good, but maybe the knight's just better. So we're getting the fork. The only thing that I might be concerned with is if my bishop gets Noah's Ark trapped over here, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. Okay, checkmate. I'm not really concerned with that. We can always trade queens, so let's go ahead and grab the rook. Actually, I can't trade queens. I don't have anything defending that. <laughs> Just kidding. Interesting position. Okay. So, do I want to allow this is what I'm thinking through right now. Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to take that rook. We have a, Okay, he didn't even go for it. We had a couple of options, but he didn't go for it. All right, well... Now I guess we can just develop the bishop so that my rook is involved. Let's chase the queen away. I don't really like the queen sitting there, so let's go ahead and chase that away. And I will do a queen trade since I'm ahead, and it simplifies the game. Now I can play a lot quicker. Okay, let's go ahead and trade some pieces off because we are up a full piece here. I'm just going to start taking some stuff. Let me get my knight out of there. Okay, let's keep trading. Let's go in here with the check. Very dangerous for black now with this move. But they can't really get out of it, actually, because if they try to go back, it's still in there. If they go here, it's in line with this guy. So we'll just take some free pawns. I didn't really see anything better. Let's see if we can trade a piece. If not, maybe we have a fork over here. Okay, do you want to trade? Let's go check. Let's start to pre-move some stuff here. Just because we, we got to get a pass pawn here, so we're going to need a little bit of time for that. Let's get the king up here. Try to trade the rooks if we can, or just take it for free. That's even better. Let's go ahead and blockade this off so we don't have any problems. As long as we don't stalemate, we're in good shape. Let's go here. All right. Good game to our opponent. Let me grab some water real fast. It's so slow that I can step off and step on without, like, falling off. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. We could do another Scandinavian if we see e4. Ah, d4, okay. Somebody had asked for this gambit before. This Was it like the Spassky gambit or something? It's like b5, bishop b7. I was actually playing it the other day in Blitz. And it's a pretty, it's kind of a pretty fun opening. I kind of like it. It's, it's different. And what I've been doing is just defending here. If I don't really have a target for my bishop, I just defend that. E6 and then C5, and it's it's kind of a nice position. It sort of takes them out of their comfort zone. You get this early expansion on the queen side. I, I kind of like it. Tips on how to practice pre-moving. Uh, if I were you, I would play a game against some bots and just do a really low, even if it's Martin, do a really low time control, let your time get down to like 10 seconds, and then try to beat Martin without losing on time. That's what I would do. I'm going to take this and, and go ahead and open up the king. You know, it's 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 a questionable decision because that bishop is so good there on that diagonal, but getting the king like this is also good, so I don't know if it's actually worth it, but I decided to do it in this case. 
let's just bring the queen out here, connect the rooks. It's always a good thing to do. Now you give yourself maximum options as far as where do you want to move the rooks to and what can they accomplish? I need to update the wins. Oh yeah, I know I'm way behind. I don't know what it is right now. Okay, F4. So let's just bring this one to an open file. Not really sure what to attack at the moment. Let's bring this one to the center. Even though we kind of weakened White's King, there's not a necessarily an easy way for me to attack it right now. Okay, E4. Interesting. I'm looking for tactics. I don't really see much. I'm looking for maybe playing D5. Try to get this Rook involved, but then E5. I don't really want to allow E5, so maybe I'll just play D6. Whenever you put your pawns like this, the nice thing is that they just sort of make a nice wall controlling all these squares, right? So you, you get a lot of covered. Okay, I'm going to take that. And if I'm not mistaken, I have two pieces there. So... Looks like a free pawn. I have to be careful with bishop f4, but I think I can play bishop d6. Okay, they didn't see that. And since I'm up a pawn now, I'm going to go ahead and trade some stuff. Okay. And now we've opened up the rooks. So this is looking pretty nice. Let's go queen here, I guess. And we're just piling up on this guy at the moment. I can also use this knight over here to add another attacker. Or here to add another attacker and also put pressure on the king side. Sorry. King side, so that's my follow up plan. Could even triple up the battery like this, but I think I'm, I like using the knight here. So let's go ahead with the knight. Oh, good move. I didn't see that. I mean, it's not like the end of the world because I'm just going to go back here, but I wasn't really paying attention to that move. Let's take which way do I want to take? Hmm. I'll take with the rook. Okay, I think I will trade. I am up a pawn, so I am going to trade. And this is also weak. Look at these isolated pawns. Those are easy targets for me. And so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. Okay, I do want to go ahead and fix fix my back rank mate problem right away. Okay, so I don't have to worry about getting checkmated here. I can always escape with my king. So that's what I was doing there. Do I want to force a queen trade? I think it makes sense. So we're going to force the queen trade. I, I'm up so many pawns, and my rooks are in a very nice position that I think... This is going to end well for me. I'm going to take this way only because I want to keep this pressure on this pawn. That's why I did that. Did that. I'm expecting white's going to go here. No, they're going to give me the pawn. All right, I'm going to take it. So what are we at? Three, four, five, six. Six to four. And we're just going to keep hunting pawns at the moment. And I do want to be careful about losing these and allowing white to push these real quick. That could be the only way that I potentially lose this game. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to make a shift. Aha. Well, white was too fast. Unfortunate. I was going to make a shift to defend that and try to take this guy and then just use my king maybe to go and get this pawn. So if we imagine, let's say white would have played a better move, like maybe they defend here. I was going to just start using my king, maybe something like this. And I don't know what white was going to do at this point in the game because they don't have a lot of good options. But I was going to try to maybe run my king up like this. And, and less white's willing to, like, you know, give up some something. They have to just kind of leave the rook sit there. So, anyway. Let me see how many miles I've walked. Point three. Point three miles. I need to get, like, a counter on the screen. Keep track of the miles. All right, let's go. Should we try Scandinavian again here? Okay, and we'll, we'll go with the queen capture again. I also do like to play the, the knight version. Queen a5 is usually where I like to put the queen. You can just go straight back here, but... Knight f6 usually happens. C6. Bishop G4 is usually pretty good. Because you want to play E6. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and bring the knight out. A lot of times you can castle queenside in the Scandinavian, but really you have both options available to you, which is kind of nice. Let's just go back here. 
And you do want to pay attention to like sacrifices like this. Yeah, see, so here I'm definitely probably going to castle queenside and then try to attack white since they've weakened their king side. So, ah, they are going to sacrifice it. Okay, so we're going to take it. Now, here's an interesting decision because we can block with the bishop, but the problem with that is then you, you run into moves like queen e2 or queen e1 and you have to keep defending the bishop somehow, which is not easy for me to do. And so I think the simplest thing is just to move my king over here. Now, it's a little bit annoying. I didn't get to castle, but I got a piece for it. So it's a, you know, should be fine. I just need to defend a little bit now. Okay, this is well defended, so I'm not worried about that. I might actually bring this bishop out. I could bring the queen back. I got to watch out for bishop f4, though. That could be an annoying move. I'd like to get my rook over here and start trading some stuff. So... Where do I want to put this bishop is, is really the question. Yeah, we'll go to b4. And I might just trade it for the knight. I, all I'm trying to do is get it out of the way, right? I want to come over here. I want to trade. Remember, when you are trying to defend against an attack, trading is usually a good thing to do. And especially since I'm up a piece, right? They had to sacrifice the piece to get my king exposed like this. So I, I want to look for options to trade. Here's a good example of where I could win a pawn, but it's probably not worth it because then the rook just comes over. And yes, I got a pawn, but now I really have to be careful. I think what I would rather do is play rook here. I have it defended by the bishop. The knight is pinned. But yeah, I'm going to go here and try to trade some pieces off. The more I trade, the closer we get to the end game, the better it is for me. Okay, and that's covered. This is going to be covered after I move my bishop, so I think I'm just going to go here or here. Mm. Yeah, we'll go here. I'm just keeping an eye on the knight, but it can't really come in. Ooh, didn't see the bishop. Didn't see the bishop. Unfortunate for our opponent. They were playing pretty well up until that uh, big mistake there. And the rage quit. Point four miles, by the way. All right. Good game to our opponents. Let's jump into another one. We might get to see it. Nope. Okay, we're going to see the... Let's do this again. The Polish defense. Yes. Bishop b7. Okay. a6. e6. c5. We do have this move if we want it, but right now it doesn't really help us with anything, so I'm just going to leave it there. Play c5. Capture here. Let's develop and castle. b4. Okay. So where would I like my bishop to be? Somewhere like this or this. I don't really want to go here and block this pawn in. Here or here seem to be the most logical. Yeah, I guess we'll keep it on this one for now. And we can also swing it back here if we need to at some point. Let's go ahead and castle. Let's see, let's see. Let's go knight to c6. Let's put the rook on the half-open file. Keeping it pretty simple. And I would like to, at some point, create some threats here with my bishop and queen. So I'm, maybe I'm going to do it now. I'm going to actually go for this plan. Oh, well, they're, they're not really letting me do that. Okay, we're going to have to change our plan because of what white is doing. So let's take it. I wasn't expecting that move. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Do we have a tactic here with the, the knight and the bishop here? I don't quite see one. But almost. Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and take it. And let's just see. Where do we want to move this knight to? Here, maybe? Actually, that might be what I was looking for. Unleashes the bishop. They take me, I take them. So they can't do that. And then if they move the rook somewhere, I'm going to 
grab this pawn. I think knight d4 is actually the move I was looking for. Alternatively, though, I could actually just take this. Might even be better than taking a pawn. Because we we can launch an attack on the king. And he takes f3. Seems like a very interesting choice. Let's see. First, let's see how white's going to respond. Because they have to notice this, for one thing. And, and deal with that. Otherwise, I'm just taking the rook. But if they do that, which one? Which one? Hmm. What I really like about this one is that the queen can't recapture. That, that's why I'm heavily leaning towards that, because they're going to have to mess up their pawns, open up their king. So yeah, definitely leaning towards that. Now, that being said, a pawn is a pawn. They do have the bishop kind of defending their king nicely, so... Hmm. Nah, I'm going to do it. I want to open up the king over there. I'm going to do it. Oh, they're just going to sacrifice the rook? Okay. Well, I'm going to take that and take the bishop. That was... Okay. Well, makes my life easy. Well, I could take that, but it's losing a piece. I don't really want to lose a piece. Let's see what else we can do. We can sacrifice here. Which, because of the time situation, might be the easiest and simplest way to simplify the position. Yep, so I am going to do it. Sometimes you have to make those decisions when you're, when you're so far ahead. Oh, what's happening here? I didn't see that move. Oh, wait a second. That's not a good move. Here we go. Here we go. What I was saying is sometimes you have to sacrifice some material to simplify the position so that you don't lose on time or something like that. Okay, that's not a blunder because it's defended. Almost looks like a blunder, but it's not. And they just resigned. Interesting. Okay. Why am I on a treadmill? If I don't get a blood clot in my leg, that's one reason. No, it's just healthy. It's just good to stay moving. I'm not really supposed to sit for hours on end without moving. So if, you're, if you've been sitting this whole stream, get up. Go walk around, please. I beg you. Take care of your body. All right. What should we play this game? Let's mix it up. We'll play play this one. Being Kettoing over here. We'll play e3. What I'm going to actually do is just immediately put the pressure on the center with my bishops. Not something that you see all the time. And already we have one upon. So there you go. Remember, this is pinned. This is Chess Vibes. Have a great day, babe. I think that's my wife. Although. She said, yeah, she said she was going to make an account, Mrs. Chess Fives, but I didn't think she had done it yet. But okay. <laughs> it's like, who's calling me babe on my stream? My wife's going to be mad. I think that is my wife, though. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I love you, too. Thanks. Um, okay. So this is an interesting position. I guess we just retreat the bishop. I guess we just go back. Let's bring the knight out. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go ahead and castle. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and trade that. Although I could just go back and keep the bishop, actually. Maybe I will just do that. Let's keep the pieces on the board here. <laughs> yes, she did give herself $20 minus 30%. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. I guess we can play c4. I want to expand a little bit here with some of these pawns. And I'm okay to trade these bishops if black wants to, since I'm ahead. And again, since I'm up a pawn, I'm okay just trading a bunch of stuff. Let's go queen b3 here. We're attacking this way and this way.
Yeah, we have we have another video actually. I need to I need to schedule it. We played together against some some of the chess.com bots. We alternated moves, but we weren't allowed to talk about it during the game. All right, I'm going to take it. Now this is a this is a good example. Remember last time I was talking about I don't want to take these pawns cuz they're poisoned and they're more trouble than they're worth. This is an exception because now I'm I'm attacking the knight, so I'm actually creating a threat by taking that. So I'm not going to lose a bunch of time. Black has to deal with this. But there you go. They had to waste a move doing that. Now I can do something else. And there wasn't really a good follow-up that was going to cause me any problems. So that's why I was happy to do that. Okay, that was a blunder, so we'll take the knight. Wow. Uh, okay. Take that. I guess black is just done with this game. So, Okay. Hey, Kip. Doing well. How are you? Okay, let's see. Let's grab that. Attack the Rook. We might actually go for a smothered checkmate in this game. I'm going to try to set it up. I'm going to try to... I had a fork. I realized that, but I'm, I'm trying to set up something here. I'm trying to set it up. How can I do this? Let's go here. I don't know if what Black's going to let me, but I'm trying to set up what's called a smothered checkmate. Let me go here. Okay, I don't want the rook. I want the smother checkmate. I don't want the rook. Oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Watch this, guys. Remember this moment. Remember this moment. Please don't go king of fate. Please don't. Please don't make me sad. This is a double check, by the way. Very important detail. Because otherwise black would take one of these pieces. But, oh, why did you do that? Why? Why? Now I'm a little bit bitter. You don't get to see the smothered checkmate. Sorry, guys. All right. Well, I can still show you over here. What I was hoping for was king to h8. And now, if you've never seen a smothered checkmate before, queen to g8. The rook captures, because you have to, because you can't take that. And then the knight delivers the final checkmate. Smothered checkmate. One of the coolest checkmates, in my opinion. And it's actually one of the more common, you know, types of, of patterns when you have a queen and a knight. Because a lot of times black castles kingside. A lot of times this pawn gets captured somehow. And if you ever find yourself in a situation where the queen is on this diagonal and you can jump your knight in to f7, there's a really good chance you can get the smothered checkmate. So, that was fun. Let's see. Let's try that again. That was kind of fun. This bishop to b2, e3 idea. And putting the pressure on the pawn. Okay, and again, our opponents are letting us win the pawn for free. So, this opening seems to be rather strong at this level. So, if you're at 11, 1200 out there, maybe check it out. The Nimzovich Larsen attack. We've been getting some free pawns, which is, I mean, as early as move, you know, five is, is very good. Let's castle. And I'm just going to go back, I think. I mean, I could give it up and play two knights against the two bishops. This is risky, but it does mess up the pawn structure. Here, here's why I don't want to do this. Black's going to take here. They're going to put the rook on the G file. They're going to have both bishops aiming at my king. And that's really just not a position that I want to be in right now. Okay? So because of that, uh, I'm just going to go back here. And I'm going to probably put my knight there instead. And I'm going to trade because I'm ahead. And I'm going to finish my development. Interesting decision there. Uh, I will... Yeah, I'll go ahead and trade it. Why not? And I think what I want to do... Is play e4. And, and open up the center here. So black's going to castle. That's fine. We're still going to play e4. I'm going to go ahead and trade this. That's fine. And interesting decisions here. So, I'm not really concerned. It's not doing too much. I could trade and go into the rook ending, which is probably fine. Let's go ahead. And what am I looking at? Well, I'm looking at the fact that I'm ahead of pawn, and black has these long-term targets, which are going to be easy for me to attack. So, I'm pretty happy with, with trading. Okay, doesn't want to trade. Let's play d3, putting my pawn where it's going to be nicely defended, also defending my rook. 
And the only thing that I don't really like about my position here is that this rook is under fire. But we can relatively easily deal with that. Uh, do I want to take this or do I want to do something else? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go here. I won't be able to take it with my queen, right? Because what I just talked about. I don't want to lose this guy. So I have to take with a pawn. But that's okay. Now we can probably bring this rook over here and game goes on. I think we're doing just fine. Yeah, let's get the rook here. Very important to get it away from that. Okay. And now let's just try to kind of defend. So that's nice and protected. And I'm going to probably relocate my queen over here. They're trying to hunt my pawns. So what are we going to do about that? I think... Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea by our opponent. I will give him that. A couple ways we could do this. We could go on the offensive... Try to create something here. We could go here and try to come in with the queen to start attacking black's pawns. Or I could... Ooh, I have an idea. No, it doesn't... Actually, wait a second, wait a second. No, it doesn't work. Okay, I have to hurry up. What am I doing? I'm taking too much time. Let's just go here. I want to get my king to safety first, so I'm going to try to tuck my king over here before I allow this kind of stuff to start happening. Okay, wow. Wow. I feel like we're seeing all kinds of... I mean, I, this is this is pretty common, actually. You're playing a three-minute chess game, you're going to see a lot of blunders, especially against players who try to, to win on time, right? They just play as quickly as they can for the whole game. And the problem is three minutes is long enough that, that it usually just doesn't work. Okay. One minute, that's a much more viable strategy, right? I am on a treadmill. 0.6 miles. 0.6 miles and 32 calories. I've got to believe it's more than 32 calories, although maybe walking this slow, that's, that's accurate. That could be accurate, I guess. Anyway, let's keep going. My wife's super chat is about to expire. I didn't even know she was watching this, to be honest. Okay, so here we go. Should we do this one again, or should we change it up with knight to f? Let's change it up. We'll play the, the more aggressive version with the knight to f6 line. Oh, d6. Don't believe I've seen that before. Okay, it doesn't really cause us any problems. Really, both ways are fine. I'm just going to take this way. Keep more pawns in the center. And open up my queen. And it kind of looks like a Sicilian. Except instead of the pawn trading for the D-pawn, it's traded for the E-pawn. Which is kind of fascinating, actually. It gives an interesting dynamic to the position. But we're just going to develop our pieces. And yeah, maybe I'll play a6 and b5 and fianchetto this this guy over here. And just kind of line up on the king side here. Actually, we have both both bishops fianchetto. Okay. Rook to the half open file. It's only a half open file because there's still a pawn on it, by the way. If there was no pawn, it would be considered an open file. But, okay, that's a blender. You always want to be checking for the tactics with the bishop. And there we go. I will take it. Now, whenever you do this, okay, you, you get the rook, you trade off the bishop. You have to be careful you don't get checkmated. So, one of the easier ways to deal with that is by just playing f6. You, you try to sort of change the color that the pawns are on. And here you go. And now I have options to defend. I could play rook f7 and rook e8, both of which look pretty good. I'll go with rook f7. Another important feature is there's no bishop c4 shenanigans that, that are going to get me into trouble. I've got that control. That's what white's trying to do. But I'm going to have some options here. So let's see. Maybe just queen b6 is the simplest to defend the pawn like that. Or maybe I could sacrifice that pawn as well. Yes. 
Let's see, d5. No, I don't want to play d5. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just sacrifice it, I think. I don't really want to allow the bishop to jump in here. So I do need to deal with that. And I'm going to do... Actually, I could play d7 first. Basically, even after this, I have to be ready to deal with that. But I'll have time. Let's play 95. I'm just going to sack the pawn for a minute. Okay, he takes that way. I think I'm going to take this way and open up the rook. Yes, I do like that. So here we go. We've activated the rook. Still have to be careful, but we have that covered now two different ways. So I think we're okay. And I think I could take this pawn or I could play queen b6. Let's grab this pawn. That looks pretty good. Okay, and queen b6 looks like a nice follow-up, putting the pressure here. Let's go queen b6. It should be three. We have d5. I think I'm okay on that one. Let's go d5. Oh, queen e5. I missed that. Oh, but then, yeah, let's see. Ooh. 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 See, it's, it's the same story, right? It's like they're playing good and then boom, blunder. So here's a... A pro tip for you guys. Okay, when you're playing the, the speed chess games, there's nothing wrong with starting very quickly. Actually, that's a good strategy. Play fast. Try to get your opponent to mess up. But at some moment in the game, you have to identify like, okay, this is probably when I want to slow down, right? Like, for example, if our opponent would have stopped and said, wait a second, I have a minute and 45 seconds. My opponent only has 35 seconds. I have a lot of extra time. I think now I need to just take a minute Slow down, try to find a tricky line, try to find a nice little tactic, try not to get checkmated. Like, you know, just at some point you have to stop. Now, it, that's the hard part. You have to figure out what, what, what's, the, what's the moment in the game, right? And how do you know that? Well, it comes with experience, but this, this might be a good time, right? Again, they're up two minutes to one minute. That's a huge advantage in a three-minute game. And if my opponent would have done that, it would have been much more challenging. But as soon as they do this, the game is just over, right? So... Yes, guys, I'm walking. 0.7 miles. I'm getting a little bit tired, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to push through this. We're almost at 1,200 anyway, so let's keep going. Bullet chess on while jogging? Yeah, that would be something. Let's play this again. This is actually kind of fun. We've been having some good success with this opening here. E3 and bishop to B4. Here we go. Let's see what, what our opponent's going to do about it this time. Okay, so they actually don't blunder a pawn this time, which is, is nice. We're going to keep attacking, and now they blunder a pawn. Okay, well, they made it one move longer than the last person, but here's our free pawn, I believe. Let me just make sure it's not like a trap. No, we could, we could play d4. We could play f4. I don't think we're, it's a trap, so yeah, I'm going to take it. How many times have we seen this? We just win the e5 pawn just like that. Now, here, a good example of what I might be considering a poisoned pawn. So if I take it, the rook comes over. Let's say that I go back, the rook comes down. Is that really a trade that I want to make? Probably not. Same thing over here. If I take this, pawn gets pushed forward. My bishop now seems to be trapped. Maybe I could run away here, but then I'm going to lose so much time. Is that really a trade that I want to make? Probably not. So with all that in mind, I think I'm just going to go back. I'm happy I got my pawn. And, you know, the game's going to go on. I could castle. I don't have to castle. I could try to castle this way. I'm going to develop first. I'm going to just hold off and see. I'm going to go queen. I'll just go queen d2. Yeah, I think I will, actually, or I could just... This is definitely an option, but maybe I will just take this and castle the other way. So the queen now is on the opposite side of the board. All of a sudden, this is a very safe place for my king. So that seems to be very simple. Okay, that's a pawn. Let's actually go ahead, look at black's king. And we're going to take advantage of that with e4 right away. Now, black can just take and then castle, but still. I think it's a good move. 
Mm -hmm. Let's play d3, just add some support there in case we get pinned, which we are. But now we have time to move away and get out of the pin. So let's go queen f3. Okay, that's a blunder. And again, same kind of issue, right? Our opponent has double our time. And they just blunder and, and resign. So you have to identify those moments to stop, slow down, and, you know, think. Well, we got to 1,200. <clears throat> I didn't get to a mile yet, though, so I think I'm going to keep going. Or maybe I'll just play some games on my, my regular account. How about that? Would you guys want to see that? Let me see. Do you want to see 3-0 three, three games or 1-0 games? Bullet or Blitz? On my main account. Let me actually go find that real quick. I think it's, oh, is it over here? Let me see. Best.com. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, here we go. This is the other one. So this is my, my main account, Nelsie. Just since we made it to exactly 1,200, I kind of just I kind of just want to leave it there. <laughs> Let's see. Three minutes. Okay. Three minutes it is. Let's go ahead and play some three minute games. On my main account here, I'm going to actually take off that win-loss there because people might. Actually, you know what I'll do instead? Hold on, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if I, let me see if I do this. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I have an idea for it. Oops, too much. Aha. How does that? <laughs> there we go. Miles walked. Okay. That's, that's fun. That is fun. All right. Let me play a game now. 117 wins. Thank you, Tim. I'll update that, too. But I'm going to leave this on Miles walked here. I don't want people to think that I won 117 games and only lost three against 2,300 rated players because that certainly does not happen. All right, 2,400. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. We've we've been playing this the whole time. Let's just let's just keep playing it. Why not? It's already fresh in our mind. Ooh, we can actually go for the the king side version here. Attack the king. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. I'm gonna play e6. We're gonna sack the uh, sack the bishop there, and we're going for checkmate, my friends. We're going for checkmate. We're going for checkmate. Here we go. Here we go. He's gonna play bishop h3, or maybe he's gonna play g3. But no, I think. Oh, he is gonna play g3. Okay, that one surprised me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you got to do it, right? You have to. You have to do this. Let's go H5. It's going to get wild here, folks. It's going to get wild. Now, do I jump in with the knight? Do I castle or do I play the pawn or do I throw in a check? I have a perpetual check if I want it. I have a perpetual check if I want it. No, I don't because he has bishop g2. Never mind. Take that back. I'm going to push it. He's going to trade and play queen f3. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. That's actually smart. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is castle, sack that. I don't think we have quite enough. I don't think we have quite enough, but it might be my best shot. Let's go ahead. My opponent said GG. 
Wow, confident. They're so confident in these pieces that are sitting over here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. But he doesn't know is that I'm on a treadmill. So I've got the I've got the treadmill power going right now. So we'll see. We'll see if we can do this. We're gonna have a whole bunch of pawns over here. I'm hoping that somehow we can make some magic happen with the pawns. I'm trying to blockade all these pieces in here. That's my first order of business. And I want to come down here with the rook. Ooh. It's gonna let me do it. Okay. Now how do I proceed is the question. Maybe here. Ooh. Maybe I can go here. Okay, hold on. Let's say let's say we do that. He's going to take it. We could go here. I have an idea. I have an idea. How does how does white stop this? Oh, he's going to do that. It's not perpetual either because of the king's gets away. Question is, where would I rather my rook to be? I don't know if we can get a perpetual here. I'm going to try, though. I'm going to try. Yeah, I think we have it, unless he's going to... Oh, he's got bishop g5. Man! That guy is so lucky. That move just happened to be there. Yeah, it's over now. Yeah. All right. We we did our best. We did our best. I don't regret sacrificing all those pieces. Not for a second. Not for a second. Hmm. What to play? What to play? What to play? He's playing this one. We can play an Evans Gambit. Come over here. Do I want to play that? Not yet. I don't think yet. Let's go here first. D4. Queen A4. Going for the piece over here, folks. Very, very tricky for black here. Very, very tricky. He's trying to defend, but I don't think that's going to do it. I don't think that's going to do it. Because once that knight moves, guess what? We're grabbing the bishop. We're grabbing the bishop. All right. He wants to checkmate me over here. Uh, he also wants to go for a perpetual. Okay, I think we can go on the offensive with get the bishop out of the game. I think this is going to work. Because once we get rid of the bishop, then we just have to figure out a way to defend, which... I think I see right here. Let's see. If we go check, we can't go there, but we could do this way. Alternatively, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. I don't want to get perpetual checked. So you got to watch out for the perpetual checks in this situation. But what I'm doing is stopping it, taking away those squares. Yeah, there's no more perpetual check here. F4, knight d2 is a way to do it. Let's go knight d2, queen f3. I just got to get the queen out of there, and then I can move on with the game up my piece, and we should be in good shape. 
Should be in good shape. Let's defend that. Let's jump in. That's a fork. Still not easy, because black has a lot of pawns we have to deal with, but I think... Oh, I can't take it. I can't take it. Man. Okay. I didn't see that, folks. I did not see that one. All right, I need to develop this bishop, I think. Let's go here. And I have a little tactic. I'm going to throw in the knight fork to recapture it this way. So I didn't lose my piece. Okay, now we can maybe make something happen here. We have four pawns against three, six, seven. Yeah, it's still kind of tricky, actually. Let's attack this guy. Block that. I'll go ahead and trade. Let's move my bishop. Okay, let's defend, or do I just take it? Maybe we just take it. Let's not mess around with that. Okay, we have to... Let's try this one. Trying to invade. Let's try to invade over here. Of course, he's going to go back. How do we get through? How do we get through? Let me try to use the king. Let's go over here. I got to get through somehow, so I'm, I'm forcing my way through. Problem is, I'm out of pawns, except if, unless I can keep this guy alive, which is kind of important. It's kind of a big deal to keep that guy alive. It's kind of a big deal. Let's see. Oh, I should have taken this. Ah, what a blunder that was. It was a huge blunder. I needed to take that pawn. Okay, we got to use the king. I think we're actually fighting for a draw here. I don't think we're fighting for a win anymore. I think we're fighting for a draw. Oof. On the bright side, it's 0.9 miles now. That was a terrible game. Very disappointed in that game. Very, very disappointed. All right, we're going to play the gambit that I showed you guys recently. See how it turns out for us. Okay, he doesn't want to accept it, which is too bad. But I'm still going to kind of follow the same plan of action. Now, it's not as powerful because we don't have the open F file. But it doesn't mean you can't still make things happen. And so that is what we're going to try to do. Piling up here, looking for this kind of idea. And if they play H6, you know what to do. You guys know what to do. You take it right away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Since I can't use a rook, I'm going to see about using a knight. But I have to watch out for this, too. That's pretty annoying, actually. Mm. Maybe I'll use this one. If they take, then I'm pretty happy because it opens up the rook, and I can come up and over like this. They go back there... Okay. I'm going to play c3. I don't think I have to rush my attack. Honestly, I think we can play it slow and be okay. Actually, I, maybe I can play f4 now and do the rook thing. Maybe I can. 
Yeah, let's do that. We're going to try to come up and over like this. Looks pretty powerful, actually. Pretty powerful. Plays F5. I can't take that. I can jump here, but I don't even know if I have to. What if I just ignore it? What if I just ignore it? I missed bishop h7. Well, it's defended. So it's just a trade, and it doesn't really help me. Oh, unless you're saying I'd take the e6 pawn. Hmm. No, wait. But that wasn't until f5. Yeah, I, don't, I think it was just... There wasn't anything there. All right. This is the idea. And it's not easy for black to stop. I guess they could play bishop h4, but then I'm probably going to jump over to here with new ideas. I don't really know what they're going. They're going to let me do it. Okay. Maybe they want to play knight g5. Is that the idea? Okay. I still think we got to go for this line here. We're going to lose the bishop, but that's okay. Now, the question is, can I get checkmate after doing this, or do I need to maybe bring the knight in instead? Also, rook h3. Rook h3, g6. Knight f4. I'm going to bring the knight in. I want another piece up there. Ah, he's trying to use the bishop. That's sort of clever. Maybe. Maybe now I play g6. Blocks off that from defending there. Now, this, the knight is still a problem, but... I don't actually know what's going on here. Oh, maybe we take this way. Ah, but now the rook. Okay, hold on. So maybe it's this one again. He wants to go bishop g7. That's a good move. Ah, but I can go here first. Okay, so we don't allow bishop g7. Uh, What is happening? Can I get away with this? I don't know what to do. So I'm going to attack the bishop for a second. I think black has defended well enough here, guys. Don't really have a good follow up. But it's still, I mean, it could still blunder or something. You never know. They're going to take that. So we're down two pieces, but we have a whole bunch of pawns. He's trying to trade. I definitely don't want to trade queens. I want to play h4 here. That's what I'm trying to do. So we're down two pieces, but, I mean, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. He trapped my rook, really? Oh, I can take this. Ooh, that's a fork. Yikes. Wait, is it a fork? No, it's not. Gotta just go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, I will say this. I will say one thing. It's very difficult to play super fast while walking. So something is happening to my brain, I'm telling you guys. I'm super slow, and I think it's the treadmill, honestly. Yeah, okay. I'm just kind of slow. See, because normally when I'm in those situations, I'm like, I'm zoned in, okay, let's make quick moves. But if I do that right now, I'll literally like fall off the treadmill. I have to like, wait, I have to keep taking steps. You know what I'm saying? I think I think it does affect me at those time scrambles. I missed checkmate. I probably missed a lot of things in that game, honestly. 
probably missed a lot of things. Let's see. So Stockfish says I should have taken the draw with the perpetual check. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. A to G5 was the best move here. Okay. Not sure why, but okay, knight g5. Ooh, I was winning here. Let's see. Ah, saving the bishop. Of course, because this isn't going anywhere. I can take that later. I played bishop to b5. Although, no, it says the best move is actually taking it. Wait, it changed its mind. It changed its mind. So what did I miss here? Knight f4. I was totally winning. I was totally... Mate in 4? It's mate in 4 from here. Do you guys see it? Mate in 4. Does anybody see it? Who sees main four? It's really it's really more like a main three, but it's it's main four because black can just delay it. It's knight to h five, threatening checkmate right here, and. Uh, Black just really has no way to stop it. They have to sack the queen to delay it an extra move or play bishop here to try to stop, but I just take it and then it's checkmate. There's just no way to stop that. So I'll tell you guys what happened. So this is what happened in my brain. I'm going to tell you exactly why I missed that. Over here, okay, when you're starting this attack, primarily, primarily, the major point of attack is right here. Sorry, right here, h7, okay? You try to get checkmate on h7. And the way you do that is by getting rid of the knight, you know, somehow. Sometimes this is open and you can sack a rook. Sometimes you have to use other pieces. So the whole time I'm thinking, okay, how do I do this? All right, so we've cleared the way. And again, this is what I'm thinking about, right? This is che almost checkmate. So I'm still thinking about that. How do I do that? How do I bring more pieces over? Blah, 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 blah. I'm still thinking about this. I'm thinking about g6. How do I get this to work on f I'm thinking about these light squares. I'm thinking about the rook. I wasn't really thinking about, hey, uh, that square is defended like two times now or three times now. Why don't you shift your focus to this square? That's why I missed it. I wasn't, my brain wasn't thinking about that. But that's what like the, the GMs are really good at doing, right? They can switch and, and f notice those things like instantly. Like, oh, just go to G7. It makes so much sense after you see it. Like, oh, of course. But I'm just explaining like why I didn't see it. See, I was focused on this 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 stuff. Anyway, nice move there. Okay, let's see what happened here. Yeah, I think at this point we're probably just losing for the rest of the game, although it wasn't that bad. Oh, that's the mate you were talking about. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Totally missed it. Wow. Wow. Okay. And then here, yeah, it's pretty much not good at this point. Two pieces is just too much. Okay. We had it. We lost it. 1.1 miles. I got to update this. Oof. Cross the mile mark. All right, let's play one or two more games. I'm going to need to take a break. I'm losing all my points here. That's no, okay. Uh-oh, my mouse just froze. It's not a good sign. There we are. We're back. All right, we'll try it again. He doesn't want to take it. Okay. We'll just trade. I don't want to mess around. We'll just trade and develop our pieces here. Uh... I don't know. Let's do this. Let's defend that. Let's go here. 
Let's trade. Let's attack the bishop. Okay. Let's just trade. See if we can take this to an endgame. Oh no. Oh no. Knight to e5. Oh, maybe I had knight g6. Maybe it wasn't as good. Maybe I was actually okay. But still, scary. Very scary move. Because I was like, uh-oh, queen and checkmate. But yeah, knight g6, takes, takes, probably was okay. Somehow. Let's play c6 to stop that. Looks like we're going to get a queen and rook ending here, which I'm okay with. Which side do I want my king on? This one looks safer, so let's go with that. I'm going to try to attack this guy. Let's go ahead. Uh-huh. I'm okay with the queen trade. No? You don't want it? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try to bring up the rook. Gotta watch out for the fork. But it's not there at the moment. And I want to double up these guys. So here we go. Let's double up here. Remember, don't get forked, Nelson. Do not get forked. Whatever you do, don't get forked. Let's go here. Still, don't get forked. Don't get back rank mated, although I have the knight, so I'm in pretty good shape. Just trying to launch an attack over here. All right, all right. But you can't go there. You can't go there. I don't know. I'm just going to push this pawn because I don't think white can do anything here. Okay, that's a nice little target there long term. Okay, he wants to come in, maybe. I don't really know. Let's go ahead, migrate this over here. Maybe I'll attack this pawn next. Like this. Something like that. Okay, he wants to trade. Yeah, we could probably trade. Could probably trade. Because I'm going to grab this if he... Yeah, I'm going to grab this. You can go there, you can go there, but I have g6. You can offer the queen trade, but I, again, I'm probably going to just take this. Let's see. Is there anything I'm missing? Queen's going to come in. But I've got it defended, so I'm going to go for it. Oh, he's going to give me this too. I'm going to take it, I think. I think I am. H5, H6. I see what, what white is trying to do, but I think I'm okay. So I'm going to be greedy here. I'm going to be greedy. He's going to go rook g3 and h5, most likely. Could also play queen c7, but no, he's going to do that. Okay, because I'm in time. I'm in time. My queen's coming back, is what's happening here. Queen's coming back to the party. Yep, we're going to go here. And I don't think there's a perpetual check. We're getting ready to push this guy. H6, we have queen f8. To defend. Takes, takes. Everything takes. We're going to run away. We're going to run away here. Oh, rook h3, what am I doing? We just lost. It's over. I'm throwing these games so bad. Just, just take this way. Just just take this way. It's easy. It's so easy. So easy. Unbelievable. That's literally all I had to do. Just take that way. I win the game. It's over. Now I can resign. Oh my. Let's check the eval bar. Watch this. Watch this eval bar. Watch this eval bar. Okay. Black is totally winning. Black is totally winning. Black is totally winning. Oh.
All right, we're going to win this game. We're going to win this game. I'm going to go with the lion's jaw here. He wants to do that. I think I'm going to go for the sacrifice here. We'll sacrifice the rook. Uh-huh. Go ahead. You can take that if you want. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to take this. He takes that way. Is that a mistake, though? Hold on. Hold on. Which way do we want to pile up here? Yeah, this way. This way. Actually, both ways look pretty good. Both ways look pretty good. I don't know if it matters. I'm going to go this. Hmm. I'm going to go this way, but I don't know if it matters. I think we got him. Yeah, because we have bishop b5. The knight's out of the game. Black has no way to defend this. We're going to win this game. Oh, what? I should have went the other way. What am I doing again? He chose the wrong one. All right. Hold on. We're not going to give up though. We're going to keep we're going to keep trying here. We're not going to give the, give up on this one. Although I did choose the wrong move. Did choose the wrong move. We're going to try to jump into d5 and again go for those dark squares. Because that's the only thing we have going for us right now. These dark squares. We have to make it work. We have to make it work. He's going to give me a pawn, but I'm not going to take it just yet. I would like to try to... Let's see. I have this move, but I don't know if it's that good g5 we have a fork here we have a that maybe that is the move maybe this is the move because where's the queen gonna go to is is the thing where are you gonna go you can't go there you can't go well maybe you can go there it's tricky chooses that way but hold on a second hold on a second I'm going to try to sack the knight here, and, and I want to get the rook involved and also take advantage of these dark squares, yeah. Let's go check. I think he just goes back, though. Man, yeah, I think that's what he does. Because the queen is defending that. It's so unfortunate for me there. Okay. I'm going to go for this. How can we activate the knight? Quickly. It's getting a little tricky here, though, for black. It's getting a little tricky. I will say that. I will say that. I probably should take it. I probably should. I'm so low on time. I'm not going to win this if I don't take this perpetual. Man, I messed that up, guys. I So... Right here, I thought it didn't matter. I thought it didn't matter. Let's put the eval bar on. I thought it didn't matter. 
But it totally mattered. Yeah, look at the eval bar. But it's only on bishop g5. So here's the thing. I want to pin the knight. But black's going to defend the knight. That's okay, because I have bishop b5, which is going to take that knight out of the game. But as soon as black castles, there's, there's no longer a pin on the knight. And it, the knight can, is free to move and recapture, and I'm in trouble, right? Which is what you saw in the game. Because now, I can't take here. I mean, I can, but the knight just takes, right? Compared to bishop g5, okay, knight comes here. Bishop goes to b5. We pin the knight. If black tries to do the same thing, guess what? Now when I take this, the knight can't move because it's still pinned to the queen. See that? And so they have to do this. I take here, and I'm winning the game now. Man. Okay. What is the... Wait for it. 1.3 miles. All right. We got to get a win. I don't think I've won a game, have I? Have I won a game on this stream on my main account? I don't think so. We got to at least get a win. Oh, no, we're not playing the French defense. We're not doing it. Nope, not doing it. Okay, they're not playing the French either. We're going to just turn it into a King's Indian. That's what we're going to do. Uh-huh. Let's go Bishop G5 here. Okay, let's go back. We've induced a weakness. And I'm probably going to go take that bishop off the board. Why not? Oh, they don't want it. All right, fine. You really want your bishop that badly? Fine. I'm going to play knight h4 because I want to play f4. Okay, what's happening here? Let's see. Let's get rid of the knight. Do a quick trade or chase it away this way. Now, this is a moment to stop and ponder. Let's push by. I think I'm willing to sack this. I think I am. Yeah, it's, it's got to be good, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. F6. Knight here. Now we would take it. Where's the knight? Move to knight to g8. What do I play against that? Hmm. What exactly is the follow-up here? Maybe I just play rook f2 and double up these guys first. Knight to g8 anyway. Okay. Check here. It's not going to be good enough, is it? Not quite. Not quite. Okay, so let's... I don't know. This way? It's just an interesting position. I really want to play knight g6. That's an annoying knight. I have check. Bishop g7. Check again. Takes, takes. I lose my queen. That's not good enough. Okay, all right. Well, we're not taking a draw, that's for sure. So I guess we're going back. I still feel like I have good attacking position. I just can't quite get through at the moment. Let's double up. Let's double up. Okay, can I do it now? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. We got to do this. We have to do this. Doesn't want to take it. Doesn't want to take my knight? Really? Okay, let's just keep going, I guess. I don't I don't know. Let's keep going. They're not gonna take it. Now they take it. Now they take that. I'm gonna take with the queen keeping the battery here. We've got we've got a lot of threats. My friends, we have a lot of threats. Hopefully I don't miss the checkmate this time. Ooh, that's a fork. Is that good enough for me? 
Do I have better? Do I have better? No, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the queen. I'm going to come here. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. We did it. We won a game. We won a game. Yay. <laughs> no, let's try to get someone a little bit closer to our rating. Ooh, 2396. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Plays this line. All right. Man, I'm already disappointed in myself. I have to play this position. Okay, let's go back here. And I guess we can just do this and attack the knight. Let's castle. Let's take it. He's not going to let me do that, right? I mean, there's no way he's going to let me do that. And then my knight is, is in a bad square. Would have been funny if it happened, but there's no way white was going to let that. Okay. I'm going to play d6. There's like a setup I like to go for here. Basically just put my pawns like this. It's pretty solid. And we'll see what, what white's going to do to break down this position. Let's see what they want to do. Let me go back to the... There you go. No, I don't want to trade that bishop. I'm just going to leave it sit there. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. Take this guy. He wants to keep his bishop, but that's fine. You can keep your bishop if you really want it. Still going to go there. Because if they keep the bishop by going to h1, then their king is stuck. See that? The king is totally stuck. So it, it's kind of a trade-off. Probably going to go back. Yep, as expected. So, you know, now I can actually think about this kind of idea. Because of where the king is. What is that? What is that? So let's go. Let's go. We're going for it. We're going for it, guys. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we can't do that just yet. But what I can do... Is come over here with the queen... Oh, hold everything. We we have some very nice ideas here. And this was one of them. This is another one. And sack here if the knight ever moves. Ooh, that would be such a nice checkmate. So I could do this, bring the rook over, take this, take the knight, and then sack it. Ooh, you see what I'm thinking here, guys? Okay. This is pinned, right? So remember, this pawn is only defended by these two pieces. So if we, if we do a little trade action here, sack the rook here, the knight's ready to go. That's going to be a checkmate. He see he's trying to stop that because he knows what I'm trying to do. Which is too bad. So how do we what do we do now? Do I just take that and then take here? Or do I take here first? I think I want to take it. Because now we've created some more weaknesses. Let's go ahead. You could still jump in with the knight. You could even sacrifice that, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that. Let's go. Probably going to play queen e2. Man. 3, 6, 7. We do have a slight advantage on the clock. Yeah, queen e2 is what I'm expecting. And then maybe I just... Maybe I just go back. Oh, he's going to take that? Uh, ooh. Okay, I guess I got to take it. It's going to go there. Okay, let me see. I'm actually going to put the pressure on the, the e3 square. He's going to let me get the fork? 
He wants to trade the queens. Man. Should not have allowed this. I should not have allowed this. Can I take that? Nope. Nope. We're going to have to just try to hold on. Okay. We're going to have to try to hold, just hold on. We're going to have to try to hold on here. Oh, I didn't want to move there. I wanted to move h5. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. My treadmill just stopped. Why did it stop? Don't stop now. Don't stop now. Oh my goodness. It's like throwing off my rhythm here, folks. Turn back on. Here we go. If I lose this game, I'm blaming the treadmill. Seriously. Why did it just turn off? I guess it turns off after so much time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got him. No way I'm going to lose this game. There's no way I'm going to lose this game. Yes! Yes! Oh, I didn't look at how much I walked before it shut off. Man. Okay, well, it probably was like, what, 1.5 miles? Because it was about 0.2 every time, I think. So, we did it. We did it. All right, all right. About time. About time. So, let's go to that very interesting position at the end. All right, yada, 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 yada. Okay. So we were trying to take advantage of this. Sockfish says that was good. Okay. Best move here was G5. Ooh, or Knight G6. I did think about G5. I did, because I see the idea. You have checkmate if they take it. But I also wanted to get my queen over there, which was also a good move. Third move, okay. Trading was good, relatively good. Not that one. Knight f5. I should have went in with the knight first. Ah, because then when you take, they don't have the option unless they're willing to let you sack here. I see. I see. Queen h6 was the best move. Okay. Ooh, knight to d4. What's the idea of this one? Queen's going to move somewhere. What if the queen moves? Where would the queen move to? Here? Oh, basically that my knight is just sitting in the, the center. And if they try to attack it with queen c3, then it allows this check. Ooh, which is very dangerous because now my rooks come in. I see. I see exactly what's going on. Okay. All right. So we didn't see that. And at this point, yeah. Just trying to hold on was really all I had to do. But we had the time advantage. And we got it done. Alright guys, I'm going to take a break. My, I actually am getting tired of walking. So, I'm going to stop it. And see you guys next time. Thanks for being here. I'm going to post a video probably later today where my wife, my wife and I played against some of the chess.com bots. So you can check that out if you want. Yeah, at least 1.5 miles. I think it was a little bit more. Have a good one, guys. Thank you, Alan, Gary, Felix, Andrew, Daniel. Thanks for being here. And Rob, if you're still there, appreciate you. Thanks, Tim. Take it easy, guys. Yeah, maybe Title Tuesday. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling.